we're going to look at the chord of A major, uh, commonly known as simply A to many people, but its true name is uh, A major. Fingers we're going to be using on the left hand, finger 1, finger 2 and finger 3. Now finger 3 is going to play on the 2nd fret of the B string. The 3rd finger on the 2nd fret of the B th string. 2nd finger on the 2nd fret of the G string. And 1st finger on the 2nd fret of the D string. Like so. So again. Now you have to be mindful of this third finger. To have it on the second fret of the B string and not block the E string. A lot of beginners will do like this, will go like this. But we want so really it's making sure that that third finger has enough room. Again, this really really, really does come come down to having the thumb approximately about there on the guitar that will help you greatly and your wrist up as well you know, see how high my wrist up is there ok, we'll look at a D major chord now um, we want the second finger on the second fret of the thin E string third finger on the third fret of the B string and first finger on the second fret of the G string. Like so. Again, we're going to use an arpeggio. Second finger, third, and first. Again, making sure the wrist up and the thumb is down. Eventually, we'll get this D major chord. Now, when you ha have the hang of A major and D major, I'm going to show you a technique to change from one to the other. Now first of all, I'm going to show you what not to do. A lot of beginners will play an A major, take all the fingers off and play a D major. That is going to slow you up and you, you're going to ask to be frustrated. What we do instead, if you watch a lot of guitars who can, who can play, have an A major chord. Now I raise fingers one and two, but notice I keep my third finger on the string. I then slide the third finger to the 3rd fret of the B string then I put my 2nd finger on the 1st fret on the 2nd fret of the E string and the 1st finger on the 2nd fret of the D string to so change back to A I raise fingers 1 and 2 slightly I bring the 3rd finger 1 fret to the left there I put fingers 2 and 1 on so, from the change to A major to D major fluently, I raise fingers 1, 2, keep the 3rd finger on, move it 1 fret to the right, put my 2nd finger on the 2nd fret of the thin E string, and my 1st finger on the 2nd fret of the D G string. Like so. Okay, we'll look at the chord of E major. Now what I want you to do, I want you to have your first finger on the first fret of the G string, there. Then I want your third finger on the second fret of the D string. And then your second finger on the second fret of the A string. Again, first finger, the first fret of the G string. Third finger on the second fret of the D string and 2nd finger on the 2nd fret of the A string. Eventually we'll have this, an E major chord. Now to change from D major to E major, a simple float process. From D major raise your 2nd and 3rd finger and put the 1st finger still on the string, slide it 1 fret to the left. Now put your 3rd finger on the 2nd fret of the D string and your 2nd finger on the 2nd fret of the A string E major so really in essence from previous lessons we can play A major 
to D major to E major fairly fluently. Remember to go nice and slow. To change from E major to A major, move fingers two and three, literally down two strings, and put your first finger on the second fret of the D string. I'll go back now. To change it back to E major, put your first finger on the first fret of the G string, bring fingers two and three up two strings. I'll repeat that again. So fingers two and three, down two strings, finger one on the second fret of the D string. Change back, put your first finger on the first fret of the G string, bring your fingers two and three up two strings. So in essence now, from the other lessons, we have A major, D major, E major, and A major.